Okay, in this video we're going to look at equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. Now before you watch these videos, I'd recommend watching the six other videos. The six other videos will be fractions to decimals, fractions to percentages, decimals to fractions and decimals to percentages, and percentages to fractions and percentages to decimals. So the six other videos that I've made that will help you with the basics behind this, what we're going to do is we're just going to look at some typical questions that you would get on equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages now. So, uh, let's have a look at this one to begin with. So, it's, you've got a table, and the table's got a column of fractions, a column of decimals, and a column of percentages. And each row would be equivalent, okay? So, for instance, a half is 0 0.5, and you should know this one off by heart, oh, sorry, off by heart that a half is 50%. So, you should, you should know that, really. Uh, there's some key ones that you should learn, and that's, for instance, a half being 0 0.5 and 50%. A quarter being uh, one over four, 0.25 and 25 percent. Three quarters, um, a fifth, a tenth. Those ones you should know off by heart. Okay, and you know I've probably mentioned them in lessons a lot. Okay, next one, a fraction. So we've been asked to write 0.7 as a fraction or 70 percent as a fraction. So you can do this either one of two ways. Uh, one way is thinking of this. This is 0.7. So 0.7. Remember you're from primary school. That's your units and they're your tenths. So you've got no units in seven tenths. So seven tenths. So the answer would be seven tenths. Okay? So for instance, if you had 0 0.4, it would be four over 10, or four tenths. So you can cancel that down, actually. If you had 0 0.13, that would be their units, tenths, hundredths. That's 13 hundredths. So that would be 13 over 100. Okay? But because this one you've got 0 0.7, that's seven tenths. So it's 7 over 10. Another way to do it is you could look at the percentage. That's 70%. So 70% is 70 out of 100. Well, if you uh, divide them both by 10, taking off the 0, you will get 7 over 10, which is the same answer. Okay, the next one you've been asked to write 3 hundredths or 3% 3 as a decimal. So you can look at either one of these. You could go to your 3 hundredths and think, well, 3 hundredths, so that would have no units, no tenths, and three hundredths, and then your answer would be 0 0.03. The way I would personally look at it is to convert from a percentage to decimal, you divide by 100. So you'd move the decimal place twice, so 0 0.3, 0 0.03. So the answer is 0, 0 0.03. Okay, let's look at another question. Okay, so again, we've got a column of fractions, decimals, and percentages, and we've been asked to fill in the gaps. And it's actually done the quarter row for you, so you've got a quarter, 0 0.25, and 25%. So, uh, the next one is to be able to write one-fifth as a decimal. Um, again, I would probably use the percentage one for this. So, to convert from a percentage to a decimal, you divide by 100. So, you move the decimal place twice, 1, 2, and you get 0 0.2. Um, don't, write the 0 point, uh, you don't write the 0 on the end because 0 0.20, well, that would just be 0 0.2. Okay, next one. Uh, again, I would probably look at the decimal. To go from decimal to percentage is quite easy. You just times by 100, so move the decimal place twice, 1, 2, and you get 13%. Okay? And finally, you've been asked to write the decimal as either a fraction or a percentage. Um, again, I'd probably go straight to the percentage. To go from a decimal to a percentage, you times by 100, so move the decimal place twice, 1, 2, that'd be 5%. And then you can either do the fraction in one of two ways. You could say, well, there's no units. Remember the columns, units, tenths, hundredths. So you've got five hundredths. So that would be five hundredths, like that. And then you'd cancel it down. Okay. Likewise, five percent means five out of a hundred. So that would be five hundredths as well. Now you need to cancel this down. Okay. You could divide both of these by five. Five goes into five once. And 5 goes into 120 times. So the answer would be 1 20th. 